Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by a former British and Commonwealth heavyweight champion and Olympic bronze medalist, David Price. How are you doing? Good evening, Danny. Doing well, thanks. <laughs> Uh -huh. At the risk of dating this interview, we've done it a little bit earlier in the evening because the Liverpool-Leicester game kicks off in 45 minutes and I imagine yeah. we're both a little bit um, apprehensive about it, although, you know, we're in good form, relatively, but they're a good team. Yeah. They are a good team. We've got cripples with injuries, Liverpool, aren't we? But it makes it a bit more interesting, doesn't it? Because if everyone was fit, Liverpool, Liverpool make things easy for themselves, don't they? So, it could make it a bit of interest, and it's like a like an handicap in a horse race. Put a bit of extra weight on the best, the best horse, and it'll make it more competitive. So, but um, yeah, I'm looking forward to. Quite, quite like a nice cakewalk, me. <laughs> I'm not into the, the risk taking for the sake of it, but <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know. But there's there's nothing else happening, is there? So we may as well get get a bit risky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? Um, before we talk about um, Daniel Dubois and Joe Joyce, which takes place on Saturday night, big heavyweight fight, of course. Last time you and I spoke, you were talking about having just gone back to the gym and done some punching work for the first time in a long while. Has there been any more of that since? Or have, you, have you kind of been going more regularly? No. <laughs> 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 I only went in for a week and then, no, do you know what? I've been, I've been busy doing other things, to be honest. Um, the, long, the longer it's going on, you know, who knows? It's, uh, but at the minute, I'm just I'm just busy getting other things going on outside of boxing. Um, but but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna throw my hands in just yet. Can you tell us much about the other projects you've got going on? Anything kind of exciting? Just just business, uh, just just like setting business up and um, you know, just bits and bobs that I'm doing outside. Setting me setting me future after boxing up there. Really. Is what I'm trying to do because uh, you know I'm gonna be I'm gonna be here for hopefully for a long time where I'm not a professional boxer, so I need I need to get that set up really, and that's what I'm focusing on at the minute. You and, there? Yeah, 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 I've still got Hello? you. You're, you're frozen, but you're there. <laughs> that's it. Is yeah. it? You're there. What I said? You're frozen, but yeah, I heard everything. It's fine. Yeah, okay, as long as you heard it, yeah, um, yeah. So Really, yeah, just trying trying to get after boxing sorted, and then if there's if there's a uh, something that excites me to to get the goals back on, then then I might, you know. I feel like I should ask because of the fight we're going to be previewing. But would you have any interest? Because I don't want to just presume you wouldn't. But would you have any interest in challenging for that Lonsdale belt again and, and regaining it, or have you already done everything you could really in that sense? No, we don't. Uh, we'll see something like that. Yeah, that's. Um... So fight for a British title is always um, is always an attractive proposition if you've failed to to breach that world level, which I which I failed to. I didn't quite reach world level. I fought against some world class operators who fought for world titles and everything else, and but I didn't actually beat them. But um, so so when when you kind of you know, accept your level type of thing. And, and obviously, British title level is, is not to be sniffed at, especially when there's quality operators around. This country has obviously got a good handful in the top 10 in the world, haven't we now? So mm -hmm. the British title is up for grabs um, amongst the ones just below that. So no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't rule it out, obviously, when you haven't been in the gym properly for, for don't know how long, you, like I said last time I spoke to you, you kind of lose sight of what what you're good at and what you're capable of when you're sitting on your ass, not doing much. But then when you start throwing punches again and everything else and start sparring, maybe have a, maybe have a fight, get a win, that's, that's when you start, you know, me personally... You'd, you'd go, yeah, you pretty much fight anyone because you, you're a fighter and that's what you're here to do. You, you, you take fights, you, you know, I've never, I've never really avoided taking a risk. I've took risks and they haven't paid off at times. So, so yeah, it is, uh, it is something, definitely. I think if the winner of um, Dubois Joyce decides to vacate the British, which seems likely because they're both in and around world level now, um, it could be you, it could be Nathan Gorman, Fabio Wardley. You're all kind of there or thereabouts for for that British title, I would suggest. Yeah, there's there's an um, there's like a new wave of up and coming younger 
you know, fresh, hung, hungry, unbeaten fighters who, who will have eyes on the British title. Um, and yeah, it, it, it potentially could be something, but there might be even something beyond that as well for me. You know, my name still carries weight. I'm coming off a defeat to De- Derek Chisora, which was a short notice job anyway. And before that, I, I stood Dave Allen on his head and had, and had a few wins together and everything else. So yeah, um, there could be there could be opportunities anywhere really. Oh, you know, once once I put my name back out there, I'm sure I'm sure the calls will. I'm you know, sure the phone will ding, and then I'll just see what's what. 